This week on Maker Update, Gmail gets a mailbox, Arduino goes command line, a tiny FPV rover, a complaint button, perk up ears, a pocket hacker kit, pixel painting, working with styrene, the new Pi POE hat, and Tinkercad gets a new look. Hey, I'm Donald Bell and welcome to another Maker Update. Thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone's doing well. I've got a fun show for you today, so let's get started with the project of the week. The Ruiz brothers made this mini internet connected mailbox that raises and lowers its flag whenever you get a new email. It's a 3D printed design and inside you have an Adafruit Feather Huzzah board and a teeny tiny sub micro servo that the flag screws into. The project can be left plugged into a wall using a USB connection on the back. If you want to make it portable, you can also plug in a LiPo battery into the included socket on the board. It looks like a fun, simple project and a great way to get started with IoT projects. In news this week, Arduino has announced an official command line interface for programming and working with Arduino projects. You get most of the features of the Arduino IDE, but running on command line, it works on Mac and PC and Linux. You can read the full announcement on the Arduino blog. It's time for more projects. This tiny track RC crawler by Snappy FPV was published back in May, but it's new to me. It's a tiny palm sized tank track design that uses two servos, Lego wheels and tracks, a LiPo battery, and a drone FPV camera. There's a 3D printed chassis that it all fits on. It's a cute, scrappy little build with a bunch of remixes on Thingiverse. I like that the camera gives you a little hamster sized view of the world. On Instructables, Greg Zumwalt has a new version of his complaint button project. This one was inspired by my comment on his original design suggesting that a hammer could be used instead of a woodpecker. It looks great and Greg went all out with a mini workbench design that includes little tools and stencil text on the side. Every element you need here is 3D printed. It's a fun design and the way he's using spring tension and a gear is very cool. Over on Adafruit, Dave Astles has a guide on making these sound reactive costume ears. A circuit playground board listens for loud noises then triggers the servos in each ear to perk up and down. It could be a fun accessory for Halloween. Also, I saw this 3D printed hacker pass case created by El Cantaro. It includes a slot for your ID card plus little cutouts for a Pi Zero, USB OTG adapter, a handcuff key, and a lockpick set. But you could easily customize the cutouts to fit your needs. And John Park has the first project guide up for the Adafruit Halloween board. It's for this animated LED light paint stick. Using long exposure photography, you can draw bitmapped images in midair. The project is coded in CircuitPython and there's a guide for making your own bitmap images for it and the best ways to capture long exposure photos. Some quick tips to share. Jocko Whatever has a cool video up on working with styrene sheets and a syringe of plastic weld. It's a cool technique that lets you mock up practical designs faster than you could with 3D printing. Click Clack Clunk has a useful instructable up on tapping for screws and bolts that goes over taps and dies and tapping fluids. It doesn't dive too deep, but gives you just enough to be useful. Raspberry Pi has announced the official PoE or Power Over Ethernet hat compatible with the Pi 3B Plus. The hat is $20 and allows you to power your board over a PoE compatible ethernet line. So you get internet and power over a single connection. Seems a little pricey for what it is, but I'm sure it's useful for the right project. Over on Cool Tools, I've got a video up that quickly goes over eight new tools I'm reviewing. Most of them are under $10. Alex Glow has a new guide up on Hackster that's a nice comprehensive look at working with addressable LEDs or NeoPixels. It goes over options, how to power them, how to control them. In the guide, there's a 40 minute video that goes into all kinds of detail and advice. And Tinkercad.com just did a site refresh. The tool itself is unchanged, but the surrounding pages look cooler now, and there are new lessons, and I think it's a little easier to get to the electronics and code blocks content now. Worth a look. Maker Fairs, we've got two this weekend, including Porto Alegre in Brazil and Des Moines, Iowa. If those aren't near you though, you can check out makerfair.com to find your local fair. All right, and that does it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, or leave me a comment. You can get on the Maker Update email list to get show notes emailed out to you automatically every week with a few bonus links thrown in there too. And I volunteer to do the show every week because I love doing it. But if you want to do something nice for me, you can buy me a coffee using the buy me a coffee link down here. All right. No show next week, but I'll see you soon.